Okay, we're changing the game plan just a little bit today, and we're going to actually split up our collaboration and communication into two videos, and we'll just release both of them today. That way you can watch the videos based on your interest in each topic. So the conversation idea is really a pretty simple one. We know that we have the conversations tab to be able to communicate within that. Now, we can still have different ways of communicating within a class notebook and things like that, and we have the option to go into our file space and we can communicate and use feedback through Word documents and things like that. Those are all available in other videos. So I'm just gonna focus on this conversation tab. It's really pretty self-explanatory, but again, I'm just gonna try to address any questions that might come up and maybe point out a couple features that are pretty cool. So we can post a topic here by just clicking where it says to start a new conversation. And I can use something like the at mention here to go ahead and make sure that all my students are gonna get alerted of this message. If I want to reply or if I want to start a new topic, we're going to just discuss the menu options that are available here. So if I click on this first formatting option, I get my traditional rich text editor options. I can create hyperlinks, I can create quotes and different things. I also then have the option to attach different documents. I can do that from documents within my Teams, my OneDrive, or uploading from a computer. And then here's where I get into some of the fun stuff. We know students love emojis. So for those of you looking for school-friendly emojis, right here is your best option to be able to get some of those. You also have the ability to look at stickers. You can even add a subject for that. So you can say right here that this is for fun, and then you just say post right over here. The next one is you have the option to do a meet now. So what's really nice about this is you could have video calls set up. So say you wanted to do a study session. So we do have our setup where essentially what happens is our students can see the video, but they can't actually show their camera. If you don't want that, there are ways that you can turn that off for your students. So don't get too stressed by that. I can also have other add-ins or connectors that are attached. And when I click on this, you see that you can pick from different ones that are here, or you can go to the store that's available. I could start searching for a 3D model to share right here in my communications. And I could select this hot air balloon and then say send. Just a, an example of something where you can find content from other things that are available through these little add-ons or connectors that they have available within this conversation idea. So there's also a lot of times where people have the question about how to control some of this stuff with their students. Because you may also want to make this general channel be where you post all of your announcements and that your students understand that that's where they go to look for everything, but it's not cluttered up by their questions and their conversation. Then right underneath that, you, you can make a questions channel right here that could be talking specifically about announcements that you've made or however you want to segment your channels that way. If we click up here on the name of our team and then we click on settings, and this is where you can adjust some of the settings that are going to be available within that conversation feed. Probably the biggest one is the fun stuff, and that's where you could turn off the ability to enable stickers or memes and then to allow memes to be uploaded. And then under member permissions is where you can change the option here for people to be able to post onto this channel. Or you could set it down here where only the owners can post to this message. We're going to go over the rest of the settings options available within Teams in another video, but this is just a quick way for you to be able to see what's able to be done in the conversations feed as you try to work on communication with your students using Teams. Thanks, I hope this was helpful. This is the place.